Also tonight, a tide of outrage over the stunning verdict in the trial of Dr. James Corisanti prompts a new crusade to change the law. Would it have made a difference in the Dr. James Corisani verdict? That's the question being asked tonight as new action is being taken to change a state law. News 4's Al Waters is following the latest tonight. Al? Well, Don, Don, based on jury statements after the trial, prosecutors did not prove beyond a reasonable doubt Dr. James Corisani knew he struck and killed Alexandria Rice last year, even though he was driving drunk. Some consider that a loophole in the law, and Senator Patrick Gallivan says he has just the thing to close it. As I thought and thought about it, it just seemed to me that something didn't seem quite right. State Senator Patrick Gallivan on Dr. James Corsani's acquittal on all felony counts last week in the hit and run death of Alex Rice last July. Despite the jury finding Corisani guilty of driving while intoxicated, Corisani testified he didn't know he had hit the teenager as she steered her longboard home from work on Heim Road. As the law stands, prosecutors have to prove Corisani knew or had reason to know he struck Alex. Gallivan wants to shift the burden of proof onto the defendant. That says either you have to know or have reason to know or if you're operating violation of the vehicle and traffic laws it relates to driving while intoxicated or impaired. For Gallivan, the jury's finding in Corisani's favor due to a perceived loophole in the law defies common sense. Their intoxication or impairment seemingly could provide a defense that they didn't know. That's crazy. And that just defies common sense. So we're trying to fix it. Former Erie County District Attorney Frank Clark agrees a slight change in New York's vehicle and traffic laws might have made a difference. I think that if there was a rebuttable presumption in this case, I think that there is a strong, strong likelihood that the jury would have come back and found him guilty at least of leaving the scene. And Clark told us shifting the burden of proof from the prosecution to the defendant is important. You are presumed to know that you hit somebody. And the burden of proof then shifts on the defendant to show by a preponderance of the evidence that he didn't know he hit somebody. That's a big, big difference. Clark adds the new measure would send a strong message to drivers involved in serious accidents to stick around at the scene. The Corisani verdict says Clark would seem to have the opposite effect. Now